Hey guys, so this is a story that has taken us about a year to share and I'm really excited to just put it out there finally. <laughs> Let's take it back to the beginning of 2021 about a year and a half ago. I was seven months pregnant and it was basically in the prime of the pandemic <laughs> and my husband and I were both working full time at our church. I was the admin assistant, I worked at the front desk, and then my husband was the tech director. And around that time, we just really felt the Lord calling us to step down from our jobs, which is not normally the thing that most people do when they're about to welcome their first child, basically quit their jobs and any form of financial stability. But we prayed about it for months and just really felt like this is what we were supposed to do. So in February of 2021, I stepped down from my job. Our son, Zion, was born in March and then my husband worked through the end of April. So here we were, unemployed, just welcomed our first baby, living in a tiny house with no real clear direction of what was next. Now we had these dreams and goals like we have always wanted to run our own business, We've always wanted to work for ourselves. We've always wanted to not have to put our children in childcare just out of necessity. These were all things that we wanted to do and really believed we were called to do. That time just felt right. It definitely was like standing on the side of a cliff, jumping off, not really knowing if you're gonna fall or if you're gonna fly. I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. But you really don't know if you're gonna fly until you jump. If you fall, you just climb back up and try again. But if you fly, then you'll look back and realize it was all worth it. Now it did take us a few months to get adjusted to being new parents. I know for me personally, it took me a good solid month to like feel myself again, just very sleep deprived. My hormones were like all over the place and the responsibility of like taking care of a life, all of that was an adjustment, beautiful, amazing adjustment, but it did take a few months for us to like get on our feet. And so the first few months was basically just adjusting to that. And then as we were kind of just chugging along, we really just started to see all of these opportunities open up for us. And I'm just gonna be honest and share all of them because I just wanna be transparent in hopes that it will encourage you guys. Not everybody's story is gonna look like this, but I just encourage you to just really trust God and step out into what you feel He's called you to. And if He's called you to it, He will 100% make a way for you. We were obviously wanting to still make these YouTube videos. We have tried to be as consistent as possible. I know we're not always. We've wanted to post once a week. Sometimes life gets crazy. I, I don't need to explain, you guys understand. Um, and videos get pushed back and everything. But we've tried our best to stay consistent with YouTube. And we both do that. I do all of the prep, I write the scripts, I plan what videos I wanna talk about. And then my husband does all of this stuff that you can't see, the behind the scenes, which he prefers. <laughs> and then I, we kind of share the editing job. Um, I'll do like the initial edits because I know what I want to say. And then my husband will go in and add all the cool, cool effects. So YouTube. And then secondly, my husband took on the job of being video director at our church. So he was tech director and then he became video director, which he only is working for a few hours on Sunday mornings. And it was nice because that was like our one thing that was consistent every week. We knew we were gonna get a check every month for that. And then my husband started getting a lot more videography work. So he's always been really into photography, cameras, since he was like a kid. And all these doors just started opening up for him. And it's a really cool story. So we have a friend who is a producer and he asked my husband to film this funeral. At this funeral, my husband met somebody who was there who was like, hey, can you help me with a wedding that I'm doing? I work for this company and they hire freelancers to do videography for weddings. So my husband looked into it and he got set up with this company and he has 30 weddings on the calendar for this year. He's already done about 10 and recently, every single Saturday almost, he's gone filming a wedding which is nice, it's good for him to get out of the house to do something that he enjoys, that challenges him, and that is something that he can really just like put himself into separate than what we're doing here. And so that has been just a huge blessing for us and our family. And then not to mention just the weddings, which has been really cool. He's also just had a lot of other videography work, just very random things. Um, a lot of just different people recommending him, a lot of different connections. He's starting to get into real estate now, bought a drone, just kind of does 
more commercial work too. So yeah, it's just been really cool how his videography business has taken off. And then in October of 2021, when Zion was about six months old, I took on the position of being manager at my church's coffee shop. We're only open two days a week, but it is a thriving coffee shop. But it's nice because I can do most of it from home. I clock in at home. When I need to go run errands or go fix the coffee machine or whatever, I mostly can take Zion with me. Just gives me a lot of flexibility. I really enjoy it too. It's giving me a lot of experience working with people, managing people, and really just like the nitty gritty of how to make a good espresso. I didn't know really anything before that. We just got a new espresso machine and just kind of like the system of everything. Um, it's just a really good challenge for me and a good experience. And again, something that's like consistent work that I know I'm gonna get a check <laughs> every few weeks. And then for me, I started getting a lot more graphic design work. I've always done graphic design on the side even when I worked full time, but I had more time to do it now. So I was able to get a lot more work from different clients, uh, freelance work like logo design, graphic design. And then something unexpected is I started building websites for people, which I hadn't really had a ton of experience doing, but once I got my hands in there, I realized I really enjoyed it and I could figure it out. And I just finished my fourth website. Another thing is my husband and I make a lot of created goods. I am an artist, so I do a lot of paintings, abstract, I make bookmarks. My husband does a lot of leather stuff, so he really got into making leather wallets, which are super cool. We um, do these markets every once in a while um, in just a local town, so that really just gets our work out there and allows us to make more connections. I also started getting a few more painting jobs. So as in like painting, doing personalized paintings for people, which was a few here and there, but it adds up after a while and something that I really enjoy doing. So all that to say, I tried to kind of condense like our jobs specifically. We are on track this year to make more money than we did when we both worked full time, which is just mind blowing. We're super thankful and blessed. And then the moment you've all been waiting for, the big announcement. Around that time, we bought createdforeden.com. That's the big announcement. It's very exciting. So createdforeden.com was bought by somebody else and used as like a blog for years. Because I have had Created for Eden that name for about seven years. I've had that name in my head for a really long time. I bought my business license and got all that official when we got married, so about five or six years ago, but I've had that name for about seven years. Anyway, so creativereading.com has been taken for a really long time, and then around that time when we were kind of like getting all this new work and just really excited about what we were doing, one day my husband just Googled creativereading.com and it said that the website was not found. So we jumped on that quick, we bought it, and it took us a really long time to build our website, but we're finally here, it's done, you can check it out now. And I wanted to share about our website, the mission behind it, and just get you guys really excited about it, because we're excited about it. So on the front page of our website, it says, our mission, inspire others to live wholehearted and intentional lives. And that just kind of like embodies our goal, our mission, everything that we kind of want like our lives to portray to people is to show you guys and inspire the people in our world how you can really just live full, live wholehearted, and leave a legacy for your children's children. So we have an about page, which you should check out. We have kind of like the meaning behind our name and then different bios for my husband, myself, and Zion. Zion's is super cute, just saying. And then we have a blog page, which is kind of just a creative space for us to write. And most of it is mine right now, a lot of poetry and different just my thoughts. Um, but my husband's gonna start writing on there too, so stay tuned for that, because that guy is wise. We started creating merch. I am wearing the shirt right now, Milk and Honey. This is one of the products that we have on our shop page. We started with just five products to keep it really simple and kind of give you guys a variety. So this one, the women's tea, milk and honey, and I'll share what milk and honey means. And then there's a baby onesie. Let me go grab it. Look how cute. And it's um, organic cotton and so is the shirt, just so you know. So this is like super soft. And this is the six to 12 month that Zion was wearing in the pictures on our website. 
And then we also have the milk and honey on a tote bag, which I love tote bags. I will use tote bags for literally everything. You can never go wrong with a tote bag. Um, but mine is dirty right now, so I didn't want to show you, but it's available too. And you can read the description, but I wanted to share kind of briefly what the milk and honey means. For us, what it means is Zion's name means the promised land. And if you read in the Bible, God promised the Israelites that he was going to deliver them from the land of Egypt and lead them into the promised land, the land flowing with milk and honey. And so for us, that's kind of the significance of that is one, it's kind of a tribute to Zion, our baby, milk and honey, promised land. And it also is just to really just inspire us to pursue whatever our personal promised land is, like whatever God is calling you to, to kind of put that like as a reminder. What is your milk and honey? What is your promised land? And then additionally, the baby and mommy one it has like three meanings. This is the third meaning. Obviously, the mother provides the milk if you breastfeed. If not, no shame. You still give your baby milk. And so you could be the milk to your baby's honey. Your baby could be your little honey, which is just so cute. I just love it. So yeah, Zion and I were rocking these and you should check them out. And then my husband designed a baseball cap. I'm gonna try it on. I haven't tried this on yet. I wonder if, wonder if you could wear it as a girl. Honestly, like I would wear this. I don't know if you would, but I would wear this. This is comfy. <laughs> He wrote in the description kind of what this design means to him, but he watched this YouTube video and it talked about this family living in a van. And the guy says this one statement that really just inspired my husband. And the statement is, in a nutshell, when the guy is talking about his kids, he says, children just need all of the time you have. You don't need six figures, you just need time. And so for my husband, that's kind of what that means to him, the significance of the van, intentional living, simple living, just really trying to be present with your kids and with your family. So yeah, it's really cool. He designed it. You can check out our website and it comes in like four different colors. It's a really just like cool hipster looking hat, which I think is really cool. And girls can wear it too if you want. Or you can buy it for your husbands. Just saying. And the last thing on our website that I personally designed on our iPad is a print of Revelation 22 2, which says, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. In my Bible, Revelation 22 is titled Eden Restored, which created for Eden, Eden Restored, see the connection. So to me, it just is really just a picture of God restoring Eden and his heart for the nations and to heal and restore the nations and how as Christians, our heart should be for the nations too. So I've always just been drawn to that verse. I love that imagery of these leaves of the tree of life becoming healing to the nations. So those are the five products that we chose to launch our website, our shop page with. And it would literally mean the world to us if you guys feel drawn to any of these designs, if you would support us in that way and really just rep it. If people are like, what does that mean? You can explain and teach them and show them and just embody <laughs> intentional living wholeheartedness. And this is only the beginning. We definitely have a lot of dreams for kind of what our website can become. And so make sure you guys follow along. I'm not gonna give away too much, but eventually we do want to have more created goods on there. So all that to say, it's just been a really huge blessing to just really see God's faithfulness over us in this season. And I'm not sharing this to be like, woohoo, look at us. I'm sharing this to be like, look at God, because when you put your trust in him and when you just step out and do what you're called to, he really does always exceed our expectations. The Bible says that he gives exceedingly abundantly than we can even ask or think. Like the things that you think about, the things that you want to do, he exceeds all of that, which is just a really beautiful blessing. So when people ask us like, what do you do? I feel like I need two minutes to explain everything because I feel like we're like all over the place but it's just been a really incredible blessing in the season for our family to have a lot of family time together. We're together a lot of the time to be able to go to the beach on a Wednesday and have a Sabbath day and to really just like create our own schedule. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope that it really just inspired you. I hope that you feel a part of this mission of this dream that we're, we're starting. And I hope that you guys can come along with us on our journey. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you soon. Bye.